way! You're gonna be kidding me. Steph Schrader, check this link. The 911 has become rather chunky in its old age, and the 718 is now the nimbler, more enjoyable to drive platform for many Porsche fanatics out there. Porsche are offering a six cylinder engine in the 718. Oh, no hey. Oh, yeah. Excellent. That's great. 150 pounds difference with a minor service between an independent specialist and a Porsche main dealer. Hi there, and welcome to another video from Max Revs. Today, we're going to be talking about the major and minor service intervals on a Porsche Cayman. In my case, the Porsche Cayman 987 Gen 2. I've got these details here that I've put together through all the Porsche receipts I've had and one independent specialist. What I've tried to do here is kind of like a like for like comparison. So I've kind of removed certain things like a V-belt change. It happens only now and again. I had a few things where they changed the brake disc and the brake pads at Porsche, but I've removed those from this comparison that we're gonna do, like for like. Let's start with the, the total running costs for my Porsche Cayman 987 Gen 2 since purchased in 2009. Clearly, I didn't own the car the whole time. I've owned it since 2017, but I want to try and give you a feel for the total running costs if you kind of kept your car with Porsche. I've had one independent service that was done, uh, but we'll come on to that later. So bottom line is, since the car was made up until today, 2019, 3,746 pounds, 70 pence has been spent just on the service element. So as I said, there's no V-belt changes there, no brake disc, no brake pads. That's just the stuff like oil, filters, general servicing. So let's kind of break this down a little bit more. I've just had my minor service done at my local Porsche garage and I paid 937 pounds 98 pence i know people were saying like you know if you can get a decent independent go check one out i there's a, there was a few next to me and i wasn't too kind of happy with some of the reviews i saw you speak to a few local people i made my mind up um, to choose porsche you obviously do what's right for you this video is not going to say what is the right thing to do it's just going to basically go through the costs you make your own mind up if you want to use a specialist or porsche main dealer out of that 937 pounds engine oil Total parts was £185.92 and the labour was £206.85. So the parts are things like ceiling rings, filter elements, dust and pollen, screen wash, and the seven and a half litres of Mobile One, which they charged me for, which came up to £102. That was something quite interesting when we talk about the engine oil in the sense that my car has been the same car the whole time. Yet if you go through the different invoices, they've charged for different amounts of oil. Let me give you an example. 2019 Porsche main dealer seven and a half litres of oil they charged me for. 2015, Porsche main dealer, eight and a half litres of oil. 2013, Porsche main dealer, eight litres of oil. And 2011, Porsche main dealer, nine litres of oil. So basically, nine litres, eight litres, eight and a half, seven and a half. I don't know why they charge different amounts of oil. While we're on this topic, a really great thing, there was a guy called Mike I was chatting to who did my car. Really nice chap. He basically gave me a really top tip. So check this picture that's gonna turn up over here. He told me, this is where you wanna keep your oil indicator. He goes, they're not completely reliable you don't want to be running the risk of uh, having too much oil in your engine neither do you want too little and he basically aimed for says keep it as i've left it so basically i'm one bar off the top uh, i think it's like two bars full you'll see on the picture here he goes that's the spot you want to keep your engine oil at because what we think's happened is that uh, the engine could have been overfilled with oil that would then be sort of coming out around the bottom of the sump hello my name is michael i'm the technician working on your porsche today Today we're carrying out a minor service and thorough inspection and there's a couple of items I'd like to bring to your attention. The first one I'd like to bring to your attention is one of the items we spoke about earlier which was a possible oil misting from the engine and that you'd had it cleaned and sprayed with leak detector. So as you can see, the leak detector is showing no signs of any misting or oil leaking at the moment. It's all okay. Uh, the second item I'd like to bring to your attention is the condition of your rear exhaust. Now on your rear exhaust, the tailpipe clamps here, as you can see, are cracked. This one's nearly split all the way through. This side's not quite as bad, but it's also started to split through. If these were to fail, it could cause the tailpipes to drop and rub against the floor when driving along, so we'd advise having those two clamps replaced. Next item I'd like to bring to your attention is the condition of your front tyres. Now on your driver's side front tyre, it looks like it's had a temporary repair done at the side of the road. Now Porsche do not approve any type of puncture repair to a tyre, so this, we would have to recommend that this tyre is replaced. Also, both the front tyres have got quite a lot of cracking on the outer edges. It's the same on the passenger side, as you can see here. So we'd advise that this is a high performance car, that the tyres are replaced because of this cracking and the puncture. 
Thank you for watching this video today. Let's go through some of these other costs. So brake fluid, uh, total parts, £26.24. Labour, £84.38. Bringing the total cost, excluding that, £110.62. The transmission fluid, we'll come back to that, is pretty expensive. So £192.93. All these prices are excluding VAT, by the way. According to the invoice, guess how much one litre of transmission oil costs? You'll never believe it. £457.45. One litre of transmission oil. £457. I don't know what's in that, gold or something? I went online, I looked at a few sort of transmission oil bottles. I could buy a litre for about £10. Not entirely sure what is so special about that, but £457 for a litre of transmission oil. The way I see it, I spent, if we leave out the transmission fluid, the service cost me £706, split over two years, because it's only serviced every two years, £350 a year. That's doable for me, I can live with that. And as I said, I want this car looked after. A whole bunch of numbers on here, you know, a whole bunch of numbers. The independent specialist didn't break down the labour, they just got, gave me a total labour figure of £148, but then again, £165 to do the spark plugs for the uh, major service. But then, if I look at the Porsche main dealer six spark plugs spark plugs six spark plugs cost me 81 pounds porsche main dealer 2013 the labor and parts for the spark plugs was 183 pounds and at the independent specialist the spark plugs was 165 pounds come on that that's pretty comparable there so. so this is the actual spreadsheet i put together which covers all the costs that my cars had since purchase so let's start with the 2019 minor service i just had i spent 937.98 but to kind of make this a like-for-like -like comparison to the other minor services that were done here, I've taken out the transmission fluid change. So basically, £706.46 is how much it cost me to do a minor service on my Cayman 987 Gen 2. If we then flick over to a minor service that was done in 2015 at Porsche Main Dealer, the total there was £630. So basically, see, there's a variance there, 630 to 706. These two are basically like-for-like. -like. Um, you can actually see there's an extra litre of there. Uh, so the engine oil, £400 to 392 Brake fluid change came in a little bit more than it did over there. Um, and obviously my dealer charged me for these visual inspections, which was pro probably buried in the costs over here. But so probably an increase over the years in the four years between 2015 and 2019. That 630 has probably gone up with inflation to about 706 There was a major service done in 2017. This was done at an independent specialist. The total price there was 624 So if we compare the 2017 major at an independent, 2015 minor at a Porsche main dealer, you'll see those prices are comparable. So we can pretty much say an independent specialist for a major service would be the same as a Porsche main dealer minor service. Now to try to make the major service here comparable with the minor service, I've taken out the spark plugs. There's £165 there. Now we can pretty much assume that even though they haven't broken down the labour parts here totally, that would include the labour and parts because over here on a 2013 Porsche main dealer, you can see that the six spark plugs only cost £81 with labour of 102 So we can pretty much take out this cost over here and the 624 less 165 gives us 459 So that's pretty much a ballpark figure to say a minor service at an independent specialist would be £450 versus £700 at a Porsche main dealer. And that's how I worked out those figures. What we can do if we look at the engine oil is if we just look at the parts, £185, £200, £193, you'll see there's variance in the labour. So here, 206 196 283 So this dealership, you can see there's 476 There's a lot more than the 392 because it got stung with the extra labour over there. I hope that's been useful for you. I think that's about it. <laughs>